Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have market equilibrium. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to understand the market shortage and surplus, determine the market equilibrium, and explain how equilibrium price and quantity are determined. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It is a situation where demand is equal to supply. A. Price stability. B. Fairness and equity. C. Economic growth. D. Market equilibrium. The answer is D. Market equilibrium. 2. It is a situation where demand exceeds supply. A. Sufficient. B. Scarce. C. Shortage. D. Surplus. The answer is C. Shortage. 3. It is a situation where supply is greater than demand. A. Shortage. B. Surplus. C. Scarce. D. Sufficient. The answer is B. Surplus. 4. In a graph, all points below the equilibrium point are A. Surplus. B. Shortage. C. Sufficient. D. Scarce. The answer is B. Shortage. In a graph, all points above the equilibrium point are A. Surplus. B. Shortage. C. Scarce. D. Sufficient. The answer is A. Surplus. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Explain how non price determinants affect supply shifts. Give at least one reason for the shift and write it in the table below. Consumers and producers react differently to price changes. Higher prices tend to reduce demand while encouraging supply, and lower prices increase demand while discouraging supply. Remember that we have discussed the economic goals and one of these is price stability, anchored in economic stability. 
Economic theory suggests that in a free market there will be a single price that brings demand and supply into balance. This module will give you an understanding of how consumers are willing to purchase and how producers are willing to supply at the agreed price and quantity. Market equilibrium is a situation in which demand and supply are equal. Equilibrium in a market happens when the price balances the amount that consumers want to buy and the amount that sellers want to sell. Figure 1 shows the combined demand curve and the supply curve for sandwiches. The price at which the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied is called the equilibrium price. It is the price agreed by consumers and sellers which in the graph is at 20 pesos. The quantity bought and sold at equilibrium price is called the equilibrium quantity. It is the number of units that consumers are willing to buy and sellers are willing to sell their products, which in the graph is 60 sandwiches. What will happen if the consumers and sellers do not agree given the price and quantity? There will be a disequilibrium that would result in shortage and surplus. The market shortage is one of the causes of disequilibrium. It is a situation in which the quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supplied. This means that there is an excess in demand. Let's say, the price of a sandwich is 15 pesos. The sellers are willing to sell 40 sandwiches at 15 pesos, referring to point A. Meanwhile, consumers are willing to buy 80 sandwiches at 15 pesos, referring to point B. It is seen that there are few sellers want to sell at a lower price while there are many consumers who want to purchase at a lower price. This will result in a shortage. There is a shortage of 40 units. QS minus QD, 40 minus 80. A negative sign implies a shortage. Graphically, a shortage occurs at any price below the equilibrium point. The market surplus is another cause of disequilibrium. It is a situation in which the quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. This means that there is an excess in supply. Let's say, the price of the sandwich increases to 25 pesos. The sellers are willing to produce more sandwiches, 80 units at point B. At a higher price of 25 pesos, consumers plan to buy less at 40 units of sandwiches. At 25 pesos, sellers are willing to produce more while consumers are likely to buy less, hence it will result in surplus. There is a surplus of 40 units QS minus QD, 80 minus 40. A positive sign implies surplus. Graphically, a surplus occurs at any price above the equilibrium point. Effects of changes in demand and supply An increase in demand, for example, an increase in the number of buyers, from D1 to D2 raises the equilibrium price from 20 pesos to 25 pesos. And the equilibrium quantity from 60 to 80 units. A decrease in demand, for example, a decrease in the number of buyers, from D1 to D3 lowers the equilibrium price from 20 pesos to 15 pesos. And the equilibrium quantity from 60 to 40 units. An increase in supply, for example, improvement of technology, from S1 to S3 lowers the equilibrium price from 20 pesos to 15 pesos and raises the equilibrium quantity from 60 to 80 units. A decrease in supply, for example, the number of sellers are less, from S1 to S3 raises the equilibrium price from 20 pesos to 25 pesos and lowers the equilibrium quantity from 40 to 60 units. The increase in demand and supply result in an increase in equilibrium quantity. The effect on the equilibrium price is uncertain. An increase in demand raises the equilibrium price and an increase in supply lowers the equilibrium price. In figure 8 the equilibrium price falls because the change of supply is greater than the change in demand. However, if the change in demand is greater, the equilibrium price will increase. The decrease in both demand and supply curve result in a decrease in equilibrium quantity. The effect on the equilibrium price depends on the degree of the changes in demand and supply. In this case, demand shift is greater than the supply shift, therefore equilibrium price decreases. However, if the supply shifts greater than demand, the equilibrium price will increase.
For your activity. Please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is a market shortage? 2. What is a market surplus? 3. What is market equilibrium? 4. How to determine equilibrium price and quantity? Live a life that is well balanced, don't do things in excess. Daniel Smith. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.